Welcome back to the show. We're now joined by Dan Benton, Peter Garrity, and John Howard. Dan, the word that came to mind for you when we talked to you right after that 400 race finish was one word. It was finally. Just tell me kind of what were the culmination of all those feelings, you know, when you crossed the finish line and you went first. Um, I mean, the whole year we worked so hard, and that weekend we'd just been talking about just how we, we can do it and how we got to do it for the team. It's not for like us individually, it's just the entire team, for everybody at home, everyone there cheering us on. I mean, it was just like, finally, finally we got it. Finally, all that work was worth it. It was just, it was just so satisfying. And you had kind of been dealing with a hamstring injury since uh, conference hadn't really run too much leading up to it. Mm -hmm. uh, were you nervous at all to kind of test it out that first time once prelims came around? Uh, I'm pretty sure everyone uh, can say with me that we all had no idea like mm -hmm. what was going to happen. I, I, was, I told everyone, cross your fingers, just hope, hope I can make it. And I eased into it the first race, and then they gave me more confidence to go into prelims of my, uh, my 400, and then I was able to just continue to build up speed, and then, uh, I mean, I was confident going into the finals. And it definitely showed. Peter, you uh, end up as the top dog in the pole vault and outdoors. Uh, you and two teammates end up as All-Americans on the podium, and you talked about afterwards how you guys had kind of dealt with a lot of adversity, and that was something that you guys took pride in that, you know, three of you made it up there on that podium. Uh, yeah, this year, I guess uh, a lot of my teammates have been dealing with adversities a little bit out of their control. Uh, Josh Winder has been dealing with a shoulder injury and he pulled his ankle or sprained his ankle a little bit at the competition. He had to stop early. Um, John Wood's been dealing with a hamstring injury and Tom's been dealing with a hamstring injury. So. Yeah, those like those guys have been dealing with an incredible amount of adversity, mm -hmm. and I'm just really happy that we were able to make like a really strong finish at nationals, getting three guys on the podium. Uh, just overall, just really satisfied with it. And what was working for you? I know when you know just looking from up in the stands, you just looked so locked in. Like you know, I know when uh, Dan was down there sh getting the up close shots of you, he seemed like you know you were focused, you were ready to go. Was that a big part of it? Uh, yeah, I guess all this year's, uh, all the practices this year have just been about uh, developing consistency. You know, having a perfect workout or mm -hmm. a really good workout every single workout, having a really good jump day, you know, every single jump day. And uh, when I was able to go through weeks and weeks and weeks and just have, you know, just really consistent workouts, uh, it just gave me a really good feeling for how to jump and I just knew what I was capable of and what my numbers were. It seemed to work out. John, this relay kind of snake bit in the last two times out at uh, Nationals. The fall started outdoors last year, DQ at indoors this year. I know you guys are a little disappointed maybe that you didn't cross first, but third really uh, turned out to be good enough. Yeah, we uh, knew we definitely had to get those points just to um, get on top over lacrosse. And, you know, it came down to, you know, a matter of one or two points. So it was just really important to not be caught up in we didn't get first, but just to recognize that we were able to, you know, secure those last couple of points that we needed for the W. Were you guys trying to maybe trying to be a little bit extra careful, you know, trying to cover everything? It seemed like the clean rim run at the prelims, uh, did that calm you guys down a little bit? Uh, most definitely. Uh, from starts, I know Johnny was making sure he didn't, you know, come up too uh, quick and get that false start. And even when we were running, just making sure we didn't cut anyone off and um, just running as safe as possible. and at the same time, you know, running with all we had. So. And the same time earlier in the day, you see Dan uh, come through with the national championship in the four by four, or in the 400. And, you know, I've been around you guys a couple times, and it seems like you guys get along pretty well. Uh, what was it like being able to see him kind of get vindicated uh, four thousandths of a second in indoors? He's able to cross it outdoors and uh, be the first in line. Uh, it really gave us a lot of confidence and got us excited. And we were able to really work off of his momentum uh, we're all really good friends on our uh, 4 by 4 team, so just going from, uh, you know, supporting our teammate and watching him bring in the title and taking that momentum along with Spain's momentum and, you know, giving it all we got to match, you know, the effort that they put in. So Definitely. Dan, how much does it kind of work for you guys so well together when the relay gets out there that you guys kind of know each other so well and have been running with each other for a little while here now? I mean, it's really nice because we ran with each other last year indoor, so it's just... I mean, we threw Randall in, so I mean, I switched it up a little bit, but mm -hmm. yeah, just knowing John, we've been running together for a long time. I have complete confidence having him as my third runner, knowing he can just get me up there and get it close or get us ahead, which I've never personally had before. 
it's just nice having someone to be able to rely on and I rely on every one of them because I know that they're all great runners and I don't really see that in any other team there's usually like one or two guys that are like push ahead and do it for the team but every single one of our guys on our 4x4 they just they just got it and it's just great. Pete you know not much was made of uh, coach Graham Moroso kind of coming into the head coach position at track because He's been here for so long and it seemed like not really many things have changed. And how much of that was helpful to you guys kind of outside of the sprinting group that, you know, things really kind of seemed to stay really straight and narrow on this transition? Uh, well, Coach Grammy is just an incredible provider. Uh, he gets us what we need when we need it. Um, I've become really reliant on Coach Grammy at all of our meets. Uh, I can't even count the amount of times that I've had some kind of a problem where I've, you know, forgotten my spikes and I need replacement spikes or, you know, I get some kind of an ear infection and I need to go to a doctor, you know, mm -hmm. the night before a meet. And uh, really just, I, I just have a lot of confidence in Coach Crammy as a head coach. Uh, I, you know, I've known him my freshman year and he was a great coach then and he's a head coach now and he's just doing a great job. Definitely, and John, uh, reliability seems to be something all three of you guys have talked about so far today, but you know, we talk about these pole vaulters. They're bringing you guys points consistently no matter the meet, and it seems that the, some of the faces change every once in a while, but how nice is it that you guys can depend on those guys that you know, they're gonna get you X amount of points no matter what the meet is? Uh, it really serves as you know, confidence for the team, and uh, going into the meet knowing that we have so many pole vaulters, and that they're a team within our team and they're working together and striving to you know, support each other and do their best. It really gives us kind of like the confidence um, amongst the other teams that we have performing uh, within our team as in general. Definitely. Well, guys, uh, we hope you get a little bit of time off here. I know finals are just around the corner, so uh, thanks for coming by and congratulations on a great season. Thank you. Stick around, more Cardinal Report just after this.